The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed, followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Congratulations to our Holy Family students. All their teams won the basketball game last evening, but I'm told they didn't get home till 11 o'clock and they have midterms today. So I'm gonna make it very short. Our first reading gives us a great example of when jealousy and envy overtake our hearts. Saul loved David, David loved Saul. David was helping Saul, he was the king. Everything was great, and they came back from a victory, singing and dancing, joyful songs. And then they sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Saul became very angry because he interpreted it right away that they think David's better than me. But not only did it become a thought of jealousy and envy, it went very quickly for him desiring to kill David. This was his good friend. This was his good friend, he loved him. But he was so afraid of losing his kingship that he wanted to kill him. Envy and jealousy are part of our sinful condition at times that we have to right away, that's what the first reading helps us to understand, Right away when we experience it, envy and jealousy, we have to renounce it. We have to right away take claim, make, make a claim that we don't want this to be part of our life because it gets into our hearts and our minds and then it can cause us uh, to become hateful to others, to maybe even have other people join us in hatred towards others. And the remedy is Jesus Christ. When Jesus is our Lord and Savior, when he is our friend, there's no place for jealousy and envy to reside. So let us pray that when we experience jealousy and envy, that we renounce it, that we claim Jesus Christ, and we thank him for all the many good things he does in our life. <laughs> Amen. 